Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. In one of the previous lessons, you learned about the powers of 10. You learned that there are three ways that you can write them. Expanded form, standard form, or using an exponent. For this lesson, you're going to learn how to use the powers of 10 for multiplication and division. Let's start by looking at multiplication. So we know that when we multiply, a number gets bigger. This means that when we're looking at a decimal, the decimal will need to move to the right. Let's review an example for better understanding. The first problem we'll look at is 2 and 5 tenths times 10 to the fifth power. So the first step is to rewrite our decimal. So 2 and 5 tenths. Then what I want to do is I want to move our decimal based on the power. So we know that the power or the exponent is 5. We're going to move our decimal point five places to the right. Remember, when we multiply, we go to the right because the number is getting bigger. So let's move it along. One, two, three, four, five. Our new decimal point now goes here. So you notice that there's a bunch of blank spaces here. We just fill these in with zeros. So now our new number, we'll rewrite it, our 2, our 5. Remember, do not write the decimal in because it moved over here. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. And put in your comma. So 2 and 5 tenths times 10 to the fifth power equals 250,000. Did you notice that the number got larger? This is because our decimal point moved to the right because we multiplied. Try one on your own. Try multiplying 32 and 4 tenths multiplied by 10 to the third power. Pause the video now and come back to see how we work out the answer. Did you work it out? Your first step should have been to take the number 32 and 4 tenths and rewrite it. Then you know you have to look at the power of 10 or the exponent. So we see our exponent here is 3. We're going to move our decimal 3 places to the right. 1, 2, 3. That means our decimal moved at the end. So if we rewrite the number with zeros, we would write 3, 2, 4, 0, 0. We put in our comma, and we now have 32,400. Remember, the number gets bigger. Did you get the correct answer? Let's move on to division. Now, when working with division, we know that the number will get smaller. This means the decimal is going to move to the left. Let's look at an example. For this problem, I have 4,725 and 62 hundredths divided by 10 to the sixth power. So we'll do the same as we did in multiplication. First step, rewrite our number. Then we want to look at our exponent. We see that we have 
six. That means we need to move our decimal six places. But remember, this time you're moving it six places to the left. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's rewrite the number. Remember, in those loops, replace them with zeros. So our new number, we have point zero zero four seven two five six two. Wow, that's a really big decimal. But don't let that big number intimidate you. This number is still smaller than our original number, which included a whole number. Now it's your turn to try. Try to divide 983 and 5 tenths divided by 10 to the second power. Pause the video now and then come back for the answer. Your first step should be to rewrite your decimal. The next step is to look and see what is our exponent. I see we have two. I know I'm going to move my decimal two places to the left. One, two. I'll rewrite my decimal and I should have nine and 835 thousandths. Did you get the correct answer? Remember, you can easily use the powers of 10 to help you multiply and divide by simply moving a decimal. Great job. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.